In this lecture, let's go over the top commands you will use in a pen test. Now, type use and then press space and tab twice. Press Y to see the complete list. Okay. Press space to move on to the next page. You will see you will first the auxiliary module, modules here, this one. And then you will see like auxiliary DOS, auxiliary getter, auxiliary scanner, etc. etc. You will see lots of modules here. The list is very long, so press Ctrl C to escape. And now this time type use and then auxiliary. Press tab to autocomplete. And then press tab twice again. Press Y. On the auxiliary folder, the first folder is admin, subfolder is admin, and then DOS, and then gather, and then scanner. Okay. We will use this scanner folder. Press N in your keyboard to continue typing, and then type scanner. Press tab again to autocomplete. Auto completion makes it way faster to use Metasploit. This time, type SSH to continue. Press tab again. Now the list is short. We see all the modules here listed under this SSH folder. Okay. We will use this one, SSH version. So I type SSH version, tab, and then press enter. Okay. When you open the module, Let's type info now to see the content. You will see some basic information about this module, like the name, module, license, provided by whom, basic options, and the description, detect SSH version. So that's cool. Now type show options to see the options we have. This discards some details about the module, like the description and the reference part. If we type help again, now we see different commands. We have previously learned the core commands and the database backend commands. Now we also see the auxiliary related commands here. You see auxiliary specific commands like check, exploit, pry, reload, rerun, run, re-exploit, etc. here. This is very useful if you get stuck at any point when using MSF. Let's say you don't know the path or even you don't know the exact name of the module you are looking for. Well, in that case, you can use the search function. Let's type search SSH to find SSH related modules. Okay, there are a bunch of modules here. Here you see this SSH version module which we have just enabled and set. Okay. We can simply copy this and then paste it here and then press enter. Of course, we need to also use use keyword at the beginning. Okay. Well, it doesn't change anything because we are already in that module. Okay. Do you remember the IP address of the Metasploitable? You have previously saved it to your desktop. Or you can of course check it by looking at it directly. Okay, this is the Metasploitable. But I also saved the IP address of this Metasploitable here. 131. Now we will use this module against Metasploitable. If you type info again or show options, you see there are a bunch of options we can set. The first one are hosts. So let's type our hosts, set our hosts, and then paste the IP address. This one, Metasploitable. and then paste and then press enter if you type info again you will see this IP address here as the current setting the rest of options look fine 
our port threads and timeout although you cannot of course change this if you wish so let's type run to start this okay you see the results here sh server version and the details perfect now you have the ssh server version info listed here this was a simple usage of metasploit but similar logic applies for entire msf domain let's continue with the next lecture